Hello everyone, you're watching The Speed of Kurt, and I thought I would do... I would stream one more game tonight. Um, and that would be... Heroine's Quest. So... Uh, yeah. I haven't played this in ages now. Uh, but I'm pretty sure the last time I played this... Um... I, I found that naked lady in the woods. And... Uh, and I tried using my daggers on her, and, oh dear, eh, um, I tried using my daggers on her and she teleported me to another part of the map, um, okay, because of this game's resolution, even in full screen, it doesn't cover the whole screen, so that that, um, please wait screen is showing on the sides. Um, I cannot be bothered fixing that, and it's not really gonna get in the way, so... Let's not worry about it. Oh, man. This mouse feels weird with this game. I'm using a different mouse than I did the last time I played this. Uh, okay, um... Okay, I'm up in Fonsig Tuna. That I think is the town where the where I where I had something stole where I had my stuff stolen. And the naked lady is somewhere around here, I think. Um okay. What's that thing? Is that something I found the last time I played? I don't remember, but I'm gonna go find out. And what's that? Again, I'm gonna find out. Okay, what's in my inventory? Okay, uh... Ooh, rations. Excellent. I'll save those for an emergency. Hopefully I'll encounter some... some doggies and or... and or wolves... out in Yanvadir. Thank you for the free skill points. A little boy! What are you doing here, kid? Hello, hero lady! Oh, hi, that's right. Do you have some good right. stories for me? Good luck with your training. Come back soon and tell me about your ventures. Alright, let's go. trees over there, that fortress is over there. I think I remember once encountering a skeleton at that place once when I played this many years ago. A fox! Oh, can I pet the fox? No. Oh, that's disappointing. I wonder if I could use that target if I had a bow. I wonder if you can get a bow in this game. Alright, let's see what's up here. Ooh, a, a bad guy. Let's fight. Uh-oh, I don't remember the controls. Oh, there we go. Oh. Ow. Haha. Oh, no, wrong way. Oop. Aha! Ooh. Eat a dick, brigand! Ah! I'm the big winner! Oh yeah. What does he have? You briefly search the corpse for useful items, but find nothing of interest. Oh, well that sucks! He must be a pretty shit brigand if he doesn't have any valuables on him. You'd think I'd be able to at least sell the sword and shield. Ooh, a birdie. 
Many birds are native to Yanvidir, and apparently still manage to find food despite the harsh winter. Okay, I am going to take an opportunity to save. A patch of bright blue flowers grows on the rocky ledge. They glow eerily amidst the snow, giving an un 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 unnatural feel to the place. You cannot reach them from here. Of course I can't. I wonder if I could use a spell. Uh, Arctic Winds channel magic dart sixth sense. I don't remember what channel is. Um, maybe Arctic Winds. No. Okay. Um, maybe. Magic dart. That did not do anything. Sixth sense. Yeah, I know. I know the flowers are important. Someone asked me to get them. Okay, so they're right here. Okay. I'll worry about them later. Oh my, this place looks kind of threatening. Upon closer inspection, it appears to be a human skull, probably belonging to an unfortunate traveller. A heap of bones lies discarded near the cave entrance. They appear to have been chewed on by something with big teeth. The whole area feels like a place of death. Oh look, there's a hole in the tree. Undoubtedly, there'll be a gold necklace inside, or perhaps a big diamond. And searching into the hole you find a bunch of acorns. Clearly a squirrel has been saving them for the winter. Since you don't eat acorn, you leave them alone. Let's go into the cave to our death. Oh, we can't. Oh wait, yes we can. The huge troll lies huddled away in the darkest part of the cave, snoring loudly. You think you had best not wake him up. The remains of several forest animals and even some humans lie haphazardly thrown together on the ground. Hey, that is your bag, the one that was missing when you woke up in Fonsig Tuna. It lies against the arm of the sleeping troll. While he's lying like this, you doubt you could get it without him waking up. Let's magic dart him. <laughs> what is this? Someone is sneaking to our home! That is not sneaking. I can hear her coming from two mountains away. But this is the human we seek! Then she shall not escape this time. We shall crush her to a pulp and suck the marrow from her bones. Oh, yes! <laughs> well, it seems I I had a vague memory of getting to fight that guy, but I guess that's not the case. He just knocks a, a rock onto my head. Okay, let's see, um... So down and to the right is that cave. Let's go down to... Oh, another bandito! Bring it! Not a scratch. Nothing. Okay, let's see what's off this way. Is 
Is that something over there? No. Okay. Okay, let's go right and then up a couple of times. Oh, it's the naked lady. Hello. Hello. My name is Rinda. What brings you to my pleasant glade? I've already spoken to her I bid about you everything. Farewell. Please stay a while longer. It is so lonely, all by myself in these woods. Perhaps some other time. I like the ominous music that plays in her area. A mossy stump grows beside the lake, probably because the tree had been cut long ago to build a boat from. There's a jagged hole in the middle of the ice, as if something heavy fell through it and froze to its death below. Does that mean I'll fall through the ice and freeze to death if, um... If I walk out there? Ooh, oops. Some people will do anything to be cool. Have an ice day, Rosanthia. <laughs> uh, I knew something would happen. You put your hand in to confirm that the water is mind-numbingly cold, then immediately regret doing that. You don't speak, whale. Okay, oh, look over there. You spot a tower in the distance, watching her out over the lake beyond. Can I go there? Oh, hell yeah. Your arms aren't quite long enough to reach the door from here. The tower is made up of rough cut stone and looks almost as old as the cliff itself. It has seen better days, but is kept in a reasonable state of repair. Okay, I don't think I can get to it from here. Unless I can go up there and around, maybe? Hmm. Can I climb the cliff? All the handholds you seem to find are too icy to hold on. Damn it. Ooh, dear, I'm getting cold. I need to get down to the village, which I am not going to manage to do, I don't think. Doggy. Hello, doggy. Let's fight. I feel like participating in combat should, like, you know, give you a bit of bodily warmth. You were so exhausted that it hurts to move. You'd best get some rest soon. Yeah. You cut some edible meat out of the dead Varg. Unfortunately, you lack the skill to skin a dead animal. It's trickier than it looks to get a workable pelt off it. Yeah, I don't need the pelt, just the meat. At least for now. Although I do wonder if getting a pelt would allow you to stay warm out here. 
like after making it into a cloak or something. This is the way, right? Yeah. Oh, hello, dude. Good day, traveler. What would you speak of? Tell me about Munarvigir. We are a proud city, bastion amidst Yanvadir, and valiant raiders over Gandvik. Or we would, if Lake Gandvik were not frozen solid with this fell winter. As warden of the city, I take it as my duty to know all the residents. Can we speak about Regan? We have adopted Regan, for he is not of this town. Let it not be said that Munavagir is inhospitable to strangers. He is not much of a warrior, yet he has seen more of the world than you and I. You should speak to him and learn from it. Have you seen Kraka around? Kraka has neither father nor husband, so life has been hard on her. She wanders the streets, and we have agreed to support her, at least till the snow melts. Are you related to Sigrun? <laughs> no, though you are scant the first to notice the resemblance that our names bear. She was the wife of one of my finest warriors. Now, she stands alone, and he walks Valhalla with the Einhiria. Still, such is the will of the gods, and the woman is bearing up well. What about the town librarian? Rarely does a Viking live to be as old as our librarian. I believe no one remains alive that recalls what his name is, but he has his title, and it serves him well. Within his books, he keeps the law of our clans and the brave deeds of our dead, so that they can be sung anew. I wish you good health. Travel safely, stranger. I need to get to that place where I can rest and warm up. ASAP. Hi, kitty. safe. I thought I was going to freeze at any moment. Okay. Cook your meat on the fire until it looks edible. Awesome. Let's rest for an hour. You sit down and rest for an hour or so, taking a short break from adventuring. There we go, I'm almost healed. Alright, let's drop a save. Oh, hello. Good day to you. I hope your travels keep you safe, but if not, I may be able to help you with a potion or two. How is the village doing? Munavagir is trouble these days. Food supplies are dwindling, and there are more trolls and vards in the forest than there should be. Yet, still we stand. Can we speak about Regan? I am sure you are like old Regan. He was an adventurer before he came to Munavagir, just like you. He also supplies me with the occasional gemstone I need for my alchemy. You cannot make a good healing potion without amethyst, you know. What can you tell me about the big city? Our rival city. Most of the people in Munavagir do not like it, but I believe there are some good people there. What do you think of Lithrasir? I am so grateful that you brought me her letter. Please, find me some flowers as a suitable gift. I cannot let her down now. Why, dear Lif, I do believe you are in love. I thought we would never see the day. Let us speak about Snorri. I hear he is a competent enough warrior, but I do not trust the man at his word. I would advise against gambling with him, as he would likely cheat. Do you know the wizard Orvindel? 
Or Vondel is my respected colleague in the arts mystical. He used to be my teacher years ago. His lessons often run late, but he does know his skills. Do not underestimate him. He does more to keep Fornsiktuna safe than you may realize. What do you think about the Jarl? We have an ongoing dispute with Ilfing. He believes that Munavagir is part of his protectorate, and we think not. Just because Fornsiktuna is older than our town does not mean that they own the entire forest. Hmm. What do you think about the... What can I find in Yarnvidir? Yarnvidir is all around us, and a good thing too, because I could hardly brew my potions without a ready supply of herbs and roots. To be honest, I do not like to venture far from Unavagir, because these days trolls are everywhere. I am not like Sigurd and do not think I could take down one of those monsters. The good thing about trolls is that they are as dumb as a brick. They are very easy to outwit, and may even overlook you if you are quiet enough. Is that so? I would like to buy some of your wares. If you'd like to buy an elixir, please come to my workshop when it is open. Lithrasir does not want your flowers. Oh, that is really disappointing. Please, Wait. leave me alone for now. Oh, oops, I shouldn't have said that. Welcome back, traveler. I'm sure your stay here will be a pleasant one, even when the winter outside is harsh and dangerous. I wish you good health. Happy adventuring. Please, come back when you have more good stories to share. Yes, I am listening. When you've reached my age, you have less to worry about the world freezing and all that. There was a thief in my room at night! The Thieves' Lodge is at work again? How dreadful. I'm happy that nobody wants to steal my books. I can tell that all the books are still here, really. Good day to you. I need to find oh, that it is Thieves' very much Lodge. So. And I wish you the same. I want to get my stuff back. Kitty! You consider making a few good snowballs, but since you like the skill to throw. Oh, I didn't click on the cat. There it is! Meow! <laughs> oh, kitty! Heroness purrs as you pet him, then goes back to ignoring you as soon as you withdraw your hand. Oh, kitty. Oh, kitty, I love it so much. Hi, Emerald! Oh, I'm petting the kitty! Oh, kitty! Oh, I love it. Sixth sense. Yes, this house. I'm pretty sure it's Regan's place. I think. Ooh, he's not here. Maybe I can search the place. You hear a click. The barrel is set solidly in the wall and won't budge. You hear a click. You hear a click. You punch the painting in the face. That'll teach it. Um, what are you trying to do? Climb up the chimney with a bag of presents? You hear a click. You hear a click. Oh, wait, what? You hear a click. Uh-huh. You hear a click. You hear a click? You hear a click? Ah, uh, damn it. I guess I need to find the right combination. <laughs> yeah, this game does have nice music, doesn't it, Emerald? Mm-hmm, not that. Click. 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 Did I already try this combination? I don't know. Like, mm, maybe my sixth sense can help. Yes, I know the painting's something I need. Uh, maybe the candle? <laughs> you could put this in your backpack, but then it would set the rest of your inventory on fire. Best avoid that. As you expected, the pot is empty. Also, it's much too big and unwieldy to carry around while adventuring. Ah. Uh, 
Wait. Ah, oh, both of them. There they go. Oh wait, the drawers maybe? The bottom drawer? Click. Click. Ah. Oh. Okay, I see. What did I do? <laughs> um, I need to do something with that lantern. Whoops. Oh, damn it. Yeah, you hear a click. Nice. Um, the other painting... Yeah, it doesn't do anything, it just has that. Um, okay, I think that's everything. You hear a click. Damn it, that wasn't everything! Okay, painting... Barrel... Uh... Cupboard... Drawer... Drawer... Antler... Antler... Lantern... Lantern... Click... Okay, now... Let's see if Sixth Sense shows me anything else. Okay. Painting... Antler Lantern Barrel Drawer, no cupboard Okay, I'm pretty sure that's everything. Mmm, that will be nice, won't it? I'm sure I've got everything. Um, I guess we'll try it again. Like, oh. What am I missing? Is there a combination? Yeah, it's a pretty good game. Uh Wait a minute. The 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 the, 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 the third eye spell, it didn't point me to everything specifically. It pointed me to the painting to that. It pointed me to that antler. And the door. Damn it! Okay, let me try it again. Sixth sense. Okay, painting. Oh, and the lantern, of course. Okay, and that antler. Wait. 
lantern. This spot. And there, the cupboard. Yeah. What if it meant this instead of the cupboard door? This spot. Draw. There it is! I had to do it in order. Suddenly, a hidden door swings open, revealing a hat, a ladder leading down. Ah, oh, finally. Thank you very much, Emerald. I want my stuff yeah. back. You should have prepared better. Do I need to spell it out for you? Ah! Oh, oops. Wasn't sure what restart did. Dag nabbit. Um. Maybe I need to grab something. Uh, scribbled note and book. The note contains a haiku by Moon Tzu from his well known book, The Ancient Art of Fighting. You take out the book and start to read it. It concerns the use of subterfuge and misdirection in what Moon Su calls honorable combat. There is a whole chapter on the usage of fainting in melee combat, but you lack the weapon skill to learn anything useful from it. Then you get to a section on spellcasting. You learn a spell named Sixth Sense, which would have been useful for locating this book. Done reading for now, you close the book and put it away. That was a good read. You wonder if anyone else might also find this book of use. Note contains a haiku. Mm. I don't know if it'll be of any use, but Kitty. Oh, I love it. Oh, kitty. Okay, uh, painting. Antler. Lantern.
lantern. That spot. And draw. Okay, this time, I'm just going to save right here and see if having the moon Sue thing in my inventory solves anything. Or maybe I can do something as I get down. No. Please, spell it out for me. Maybe I can talk to Regan about that hidden passage. No, I don't have invisibility or anything like that. <laughs> Welcome back, Traveller. I'm sure your stay here will be a pleasant one even when the winter outside is harsh and dangerous. Oh, I can tell him there was a thief in my room, and he fucking goes on like he knows nothing about that passage in the house he lives there in. There was a thief in my room at night! Yes, that is part of the hazards of adventuring. Any major city is bound to have thieves in it somewhere. If something was stolen from you, I would recommend just buying new things. Surely an adventurer like yourself could afford that. Ah, I this think guy. Not. I would find their lodge, storm my way inside, and demand them to return my things immediately. I wish you good health. <sighs> Happy adventuring. Please, come back when you have more good stories to share. Maybe I just need to go there at a different time of day. Okay. I'll try that. Sleep until dawn. Meanwhile... One day... One day when I'm older, I shall draw out this sword and be a mighty warrior. My father shall be so proud! Now I had better return home. It is getting late. Oh no... Hello, little man! It is a good night for a walk in the forest. Who are you? Stay away from me, you troll! <laughs> the little man thinks he is a warrior. With a wooden sword! Oh, yes! Somebody help me! Please! We caught the little man! Mm, such a worthy opponent he was to you. Indeed! Master will be so proud of us! But now, they must give us the eye. Let us go hide the little man! Help! Father! A troll got me! Help! <laughs> Damn it, Jaime, you should have just run for it. You awaken, clearly recalling the vision of the dangerous troll. Your instinct tells you that you should visit the site of his attack to find traces of where he has taken Jaime. But I'm busy! Okay, uh... Yeah, I guess I'll... Eat the meat. Om nom nom. Okay. 
now, let's see if we can get into the Thieves' Lodge while there's, like, no one there or something like that. Hi, kitty. Hello, Regan. Please do not touch that. The placement of items throughout the room is important for the fitting atmosphere. <laughs> oh, you bastard. <laughs> oh. Damn. Yes, please spell it out for me. Okay, I am going to finish up this stream here, and next time, mm, where did, there it is, and next time, I will go see if I can find Jaime. And maybe after I find Jaime, maybe by the time I find Jaime, I'll have something that I need to get into the Thieves' Lodge. Or alternatively, maybe I just need to speak to that girl when she's not in the Thieves' Lodge, now that I've found the door, or something like that. Um, any thoughts, Emerald? No? Okay. Alright, well, um, either way, I'm gonna finish up this stream here. So, Emerald, thank you so much for watching. And if you're watching this stream after the stream, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you next time. <laughs>